Welcome back everyone. I'm going to continue on from the previous video uh, where I was talking about the squeaking noise. Now I have taken it all apart and the squeaking noise actually was from the motors. I took the everything off and just got the belt and used the belt to turn the motor and it, sure enough it squeaked. Uh, which I found to be... I was actually surprised because as I said in the previous video I tried to put see a, a uh, WD-40 in there while it was still together and it didn't stop it from squeaking so I was surprised so anyway I took it all apart and I oiled it, the bearings with engine oil now that is a bit of a painful thing to do if you've ever looked at a bearing it's very difficult to get oil underneath this little cover or at least thick oil or grease now this is not the bearing out of the motor, this is a different bearing. But how I've done it is I've taken a container like this with some high quality thick engine oil in it, chuck the bearings in there, put the lid on, then squeeze it. Once you're squeezing the oil into the bearing and then let it go and you'll see the bubbles coming out of the, the bearings of air. And just keep doing that to squeeze the oil in. I also greased the inside and the outside of the bearing because I wasn't quite sure if the noise had anything to do with the bearing itself but it, I mean these are obviously fairly cheap motors, well very cheap motors so the noise could have actually been the bearing rotating in the housing uh, or on the shaft itself now it shouldn't do because the bearing should be far easier to turn than that but tolerances and whatnot because this is a different bearing, it's actually surprisingly difficult to turn so I added some thick grease to the outside and the inside. My two thoughts with that was one that would hopefully fill up the, the gap if there was any one and I used a real thick grease for that. And the other was uh, that if the bearing outside was actually rotating that it would now be lubricated and not squeak anymore. And after having done that to that axis and that axis down there it has stopped squeaking and it's significantly quieter. So that's really cool. Uh, the other one I've had some follow-up questions on is uh, about these uh, the stainless steel on brass grinding it away. Uh, and it certainly is. And what grease to use. Now, I am not a grease expert. So these are the two greases that I have lying around. I've got this graphite grease that I love. Now I got this for my milling machine for the bed which gets a lot of water sprayed on the bed and it runs down onto the onto the bottom of the table where the grease is. Uh, so this is a quite a thick sticky grease that doesn't come off and I actually really like it so I'll probably use it on that. I like the fact it's got graphite in it. Uh, but probably a, a better choice would be something like this which is a lot thinner. But whatever. Now, unfortunately, I have managed to break my printer, so I can't use it. And some, will, some of you will have noticed that I have now wrecked my piece of tape, so I've had to buy another one of those. Uh, two thoughts on that is, right now you'll see it's got lots of hideous lines in it. When you heat the bed up, you can actually sort of push those back out again. Uh, that happened because I accidentally changed the printer and I didn't have auto leveling, leveling uh, as part of the code so it just did its own thing and scratched it off so that's kind of annoying but I managed to break my Trunksy unfortunately because of the Facebook page <laughs> I was concerned about so this is some PLA that goes through here and into there now I was kind of concerned that if you waited Obviously you heated it up, it pushed through, but how to pull this out? So I was wondering whether I, obviously what temperature to pull it out. When it's cold you can't pull it out. When it's really hot I was worried that it would get real stringy like this, which it does, and eventually block up this plastic tube. So someone mentioned that I should pull it out, pull it out at a hundred degrees, and that was a bad idea. Because what happened is that it did come out fairly nicely out of here, but then it formed the shape of this tube which is 2mm ish 
and I was able to pull it all the way till I got to this brass fitting over here and it got stuck there and in my hmm, possibly good thinking possibly bad thinking I thought it would be a good idea just to drill it out from here uh, two reasons obviously that would increase the diameter of that so it wouldn't get caught there anymore which I think is probably a good mod but we need to use the in the, the Chinese finger trap to pull that off first but I unscrewed it and drilled it this way and I unfortunately caught some of this plastic here and that meant the next time I put my filament in it actually took some of that plastic and you can actually see that I think that's what it is there that white plastic and blocked the nozzle not completely blocked it but pretty much blocked it so I've had to order a new a nozzle and I would definitely recommend people don't wait till it gets too cool to pull it out just possibly pull it out when it's too hot and I guess it actually doesn't stick to this plastic tube so it doesn't matter if it becomes stringy like that when you put the next bit in it's gonna push it down and we're all good but that is an assumption uh, after this video I'm going to talk about mods for it I am feverishly working away creating mods um, because I can't do anything stock and I have to change even the aftermarket designs I'm like yeah but this slot shouldn't be there uh, and so I'm currently working on a complete new one of these with dual 40 millimeter fans I nothing's too new or exciting about that except for I couldn't find a dual 40 millimeter fan that would allow you to still use the auto leveler and or have the auto leveler in the stock location so that's what I'm gonna I'm currently working on and I it's gonna obviously be a bit wider than anyone else's one because of the auto leveler though the fan sort of gonna go across the side of it but uh, yeah at least there'll be an option I'll put it up people can download it hopefully it's gonna work I spent way too much time on it, but it's good fun. I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.